Welcome to this week's edition of the Pete Mazzetti Show. I am Pete Mazzetti. We actually have a panel of experts tonight because we're going to talk about the Tommy Fund for Childhood Cancer. So I'm going to pass it off to my friend over here. Identify yourself, please. Sure. Thanks, Pete. You got it, Rebecca. Yes, I'm Rebecca Santoli. Okay. I'm the executive director of the Tommy Fund for Childhood Cancer, okay. and we're directly affiliated Yay. with the Smilo Cancer Yay. Network and okay. our hospitals Yay. in New Haven, Trumbull, Yay. and throughout Yay. Connecticut. Okay. I'm thrilled to be here with Yay. my Yay. friends. Thanks for coming Yay. down, and we have friends too. Go ahead. Go ahead, guys. Introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Casey Vaughn, and this is Barry Godsey. And I'm Zach Dodsey, father of little Barry, who's very animated right now. Oh, absolutely. I would be, too. First uh, time on TV, right, Yeah. Bob? That's okay. That's okay. So, guys, maybe if you want to tell us a little bit about why we're all here tonight and a little bit, maybe a little bit about Barry's... Journey. Barry's sure. journey. Yeah. So Barry was diagnosed with uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia okay. on May the 6th. Okay. Um, and we were actually in California when we started this journey. Okay. Uh, and then we moved to Connecticut, and that's where we met Rebecca with the Tommy Fund, and he got treated at Smilo um, Cancer Center. Um, he made it to remission. Yeah. Um, so now we're just following through the rest of his treatment. How's treatment going? It's great. Um, it honestly couldn't have been better with the support of Tommy Fund um, and the, the whole team. Um, it's just been great. We couldn't have asked for more. We've had some bumpy roads just because the treatment of leukemia is a rough road, but mm -hmm. um, through the help of everyone it's, and the support has been um, great. We couldn't have asked for more. Absolutely. Zach, do you have anything you'd like to add? Yeah, so she's being modest. We had a we had <laughs> okay. a bit of a, a bumpy road. So we were stationed out in California with the military, and, okay. and um, we were we had our house packed up. Everything was in a trailer, ready to go, and we were planning a nice three week vacation to what they call PCS or move to Connecticut. Okay. Um, about a day after our stuff got packed up, we found out like, hey, we were diagnosed with leukemia. So um, that transition was really rough. We lived out of our trailer for a little bit, our travel trailer. We yep. pulled behind our truck. Um, we stayed at friends' houses. Um, and that transition was obviously not the way we planned. We didn't get our three-week vacation. We actually flew them cross-country, and I drove in about three days, made it to Connecticut. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. But then we, we got here, and we got to go to Yale, uh, Smilo Cancer Center, which yep. was... Um, great and Tommy Fund runs yep. the child wing so it, it really helped us make that transition because they had everything set up for us we had uh, people like Marisol um, that mm -hmm. really helped out really made that transition easy not just moving cross-country but moving cross-country with a child with cancer while yeah. buying a house and assimilating mm -hmm. into my new job um, and Marisol's a so part of the social work yes. team oh, okay so there's, there's different arms of the hospital not just the clinicians and nurses there's social work and yes. and such so yes yeah, so, um, you know, being able to utilize and lean on Tommy's fund really made that transition doable, something that otherwise seemed kind of impossible. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we can see Barry is yeah, doing Barry, a lot better now. I was going to say, Barry looks like he's having a good time here this afternoon. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. There you go. Got him. I think he wants it. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Let's switch. That's Teddy, his favorite bear. Yes. Switch, Goes switch. through everything with him. Oh, there you go. There you go. So Rebecca, can you maybe tell us a little bit about the Tommy Fund for those of us that don't know sure. what you are and what you guys do? Absolutely. So the the Tommy Fund, and and that goes to what Zach said. We we oversee we we supply the initial funding for the clinic on mm -hmm. the in the pediatric hematology and oncology center at Yale. Okay. So we support patients and families through the emotional journey, financially, um, with medical support. Um, for 70 years, we've been around, so it's been a it's been a long partnership with Smilo Cancer Hospital, and and that looks has looked different historically over time. Mm -hmm. We may support a family that may not be able to pay their their general costs of living mm -hmm. while they're undergoing all these medical expenses. So right. we will supply direct funding to the families and their and their 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 mortgage, their rent, their utilities. Right. Outside of that, we, we funded the clinic itself. We 
funded fellowships at in research okay. um, for up and coming research doctors at Yale. We've um, we supply the snacks on the shelf, you know. So when you're sitting there, you can attest to this: the long days in the <laughs> hospital, you know, the coffee it, it could go a long way for for a family, you know, our mom and dad. So we yeah. do things like that, um, and then we work directly with the social work team, um, Marisol, Katie, uh, Denise Carr, any anyone within the hospital that comes to us and says this family needs this, how can you help? Um, we, we've helped with fertility treatments. We've, we've you know, out, outside of the box mm -hmm. requests that the hospital themselves cannot maybe do. That's when the Tommy Fund has stepped in and to support. And you guys, from what I was looking at research this afternoon, you guys are celebrating 70 years. Yeah, it's very exciting. Right. 2023 marks our 70th year okay. of the Tommy Fund. All right. Um, we we started with a little boy named Tommy in New Britain, Connecticut. Okay. And lo he had leukemia at the time, and this community of supporters in, in New Britain 70 years ago was really close-knit. Everybody knew of Tommy, and mm. they all rallied behind him and his care and, and did nice things for him, sent him mail, brought him gifts, um, gave, gave back... Um, to, to, to his parents as much as they could and siblings. Yep. Um, and flash forward, they they wanted to give back as a family too, so they created the Tommy Fund. And then over time, we got directly linked with Smilo Cancer Hospital directly. Yep. Okay. So it's a big it's a big deal. We're having Seems a gala like a great... and, and some yeah, fun, yeah. fun events to celebrate our efforts. And, and of course, move our progress forward too by doing those things. We'll have more money to to fuel the future. So now, as far as fun events coming up, what do you guys got planned? Yeah, Barry and 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 <laughs> the family will all be at our gala on April twenty first okay. at Anthony's Ocean View. Sure. I hear you've danced your night away. I've 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 been there a couple yeah. times for events. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna have um, a, a nice fundraising evening. Okay. About three hundred guests will be in attendance. All right. And we're gonna have an auction, dinner, dancing, live entertainment. We're pretty excited. So it'll be a great night and to celebrate and raise necessary funds. So. And tickets are still available? or is Tickets it, are, are still are available. No, we're almost there. So there's okay. still time if folks hear us and wanna go on our website, tommyfund.org, you can buy tickets. Now, what types of information can they find on the website? Yes. Probably everything you want. Yeah, yeah. So if, if you're a, a family that is impacted by childhood cancer uh -huh. and you may need <laughs> assistance from us, um, certainly go to our website. Our contact information is there. But also the social work team at the hospital can directly link you to us as well. Um, also on the website, just for the general community that may want to get involved, think, yeah. how can I do something? How can I help? Um, our full calendar of events, um, the, the work that we've done is all listed there as well. So I encourage you to go on and, and connect with us. I'm always available myself to, to answer questions and, and nothing is too small or too big. We have a uh, good partnership with different organizations that do a Santa Express. Um, baby Santa goes out and raises money for us at Christmas. We have really? a bowling tournament this Sunday. So anything, we, we're open to any and everything um, really? as far as fundraising goes, for nice, sure. Nice, nice. Yeah. And obviously you do well on the bowling tournament. Well, we'll see. I, okay. I, I'm actually bowling, and I don't okay. know how, when you say do well, it, yeah. you mean fundraising or my score? No, fundraising. I, yeah, fundraising, we hope. We'll, fundraising, we'll you see. hope. Your yeah. score, we don't know We're yet. Not, I'm hoping for the bumpers to yeah. be up for exactly. me. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, haven't, I haven't bowled in many years. Yeah, and yeah. I, I have a feeling if I ever get out of a bowling alley, it's not going to. We're just. It's not going to. It's not going to be pretty. Yeah, I'm not hoping for it. But yeah, I will tell you what? this uh, July, we're having a pizza challenge. This is kind of uh, uh -oh. a, a, an old event that's come back in New Haven being the hub of all pizza, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Bar uh, hopefully Barry's had some in, in, yeah. <laughs> during his time in town. <laughs> um, they're doing a pizza challenge uh, through the, the Mason Lodge in, in um, in that area and we're hopeful that people will come out raise money awareness and it'll be just a fun day eating a lot of pizza in new haven so when is it that's july 16th so that's lots lots going on i but might have to mark my calendar for yeah that. That I, should I, be a fun I will one. i will i will i will just be getting back from a travel vacation then but i might have to well we'd love to have you make, make an appearance <laughs> 
have a slice or two, hang out. And yeah, definitely. Absolutely. But I mean, there, obviously, all those efforts and, and programs that we do go to benefit, you know, patients like Barry. And right. th at the end of the day, that's that's what we're doing all this for, so we can, you know, change yeah, our no, future. No, 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 <laughs> absolutely. Now, Casey and Zach, as far as the treatment goes, obviously there's different phases of the treatment. What phase are we on now? So we just finished up phase four. Okay. And we're entering phase five as soon as his um, blood work comes back that yep. his ANC is at a certain level that we can start. So we're hoping that we're going to start on Tuesday coming up. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and one of the things I wanted to kind of yeah. back to is that yeah, yeah. Go for community it. that uh, Miss Tommy, Tommy's mother, set up with that community. It makes a lot of sense now because when we came, yep. you know, obviously, thank, thank God we were able to be at Yale, mm -hmm. some of the best cancer treatment in the area. Yep. Um, so we're very lucky in that aspect, but we're also very lucky mm -hmm. that happened to be at Tommy Fund Wing, the yeah. Smile Hospital, because that right. sense of community is still there. So um, I don't think we're ready for it quite yet to volunteer and get out there. We have our hands full with his treatment, but as soon as he is finished, it's something we're going to be passionate to do is get involved. So we hope everybody else can get involved because the efforts that Tommy's Fund has done have gone a long way. They've really made a difference for our family especially. Um, yeah, because it, it is a very hard road. So for those going mm -hmm. through it, um, being able to, you know, see him run around and smile, being mm -hmm. able to have that, have that help to do things like that, it, it makes a huge impact. Even, even the littlest things, if people can get out there. And there's volunteers that help out at the team room that just come and hang out with the kids and have fun. Cool. Uh, it goes a long way. Cool. Yeah. We actually have, oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I was going to say, this, this, you made me think hanging out in the team. We have a department called Child Life who's like instrumental with, with families that may have other children, you know, siblings that come to clinic that, right. you know, don't have cancer, but they need to be occupied. So mm -hmm. Child Life may step in and offer, just play a game or occupy right. the child, you know, the siblings or, or give support to the family, draw with patients like Barry, exactly. make art projects. So we're so robust in that way that we can offer so much help. Would you guys mind sticking around for another segment? Sure. sure. All right, we'll that be right back. Good. The latest social media scam is yet another phishing scheme designed to scare Facebook users into sharing their login credentials. You receive an email that appears to come from Facebook and says your page has been disabled for violating Facebook terms. If you believe the decision is incorrect, you can request a review and file an appeal at the link below. Well, the message may also state that if you don't act in the next 24 hours, Facebook will delete your account permanently. The email includes a link that appears to lead to Facebook.com. However, if you hover over the link, you'll discover that it doesn't point to Facebook's website. If you click the link, you'll likely be taken to an official looking page and prompted to complete a form and confirm your password, giving scammers all the information they need to hack your account. Instead, what you should do is log into your Facebook account directly to verify there's a problem. Never enter your login login information on a third party website. And remember, scammers love to target social media accounts, so fake alerts are not uncommon. You can read more about phishing scams at BBB.org. Welcome back to this week's edition of the Pete Mazzetti Show. I'm Pete Mazzetti sitting here with a panel of experts talking about the Tommy Fund for Childhood Cancer. Guys, welcome back. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thanks. thanks for sticking around. Thanks for sticking around. All right. So we talked a little bit about in the first segment, nuts, bolts, and everything regarding Barry and the Tommy Fund. Where do we want to open up this segment? Because I'll let you. I'll let you guys decide what we want to talk, start talking about. Sure. I think Casey and I we've really appreciated all the different support channels and I, mm -hmm. um, that we've had. Okay. Um, so for families that don't necessarily have a much uh, much assets, which we did not when we first got here, all right. of our worldly possessions were on a truck somewhere mm -hmm. in route to <laughs> Connecticut. Gotcha. So we had virtually zero possessions other than like a suitcase full of clothes. Gotcha. So um, showing up day one, um, he's a huge Toy Story fan, mm -hmm. running around somewhere. I was gonna say, yeah, we've, <laughs> we've seen we'll Buzz. We'll find him soon. Um, Buzz Lightyear, Woody, um, every time we came to the hospital, we didn't have a lot of his toys. Mm -hmm. So he's flicking the light. There you go, bud. <laughs> there you go. Um, 
So he first day he came to the hospital, he had a uh, Woody yep. thrust upon him. Here's your Woody toy to play with. That's something they're very good with, um, especially with families that don't have very much. They right. always give that child a sense of belonging. They have show up and they get given toys. I don't know any kid that's not going to smile when you give them a toy. No, absolutely not. Um, and that was the material possessions, which really went a long way for him because kids right. love to have items, love to have toys. Yeah. Um, for the support, I'll kick it over to Casey. Yeah, I think that Zach touched on a big one. Um, but just the sense of community, too, is we were living out of our travel trailer while we were closing on a house in Connecticut, coming mm -hmm. from California uh, with the military move. Um, it was really tough to kind of get situated. And um, Rebecca with the Tommy Fund was able to assist, and also Ronald McDonald um, yeah. was able to assist us greatly. Um, while Barry was through treatment, we were able to stay there. Um, and they, everyone just really welcomed us with open arms. And that was such a heartwarming feeling, especially when you're kind of at a low place and you need help, but you don't know how to ask for it. Exactly. Exactly. And that, you know, hmm. that you said it so perfectly, Casey, you know, when you need it and you don't, you don't even know what you need, maybe, mm -hmm. you know, and that, that's when, you know, the social work team and the nurses come to us and say, you know, we have this new family, they're, they're from California, <laughs> what can you do, you know, and, and we, we try, you know, and then, and we, we're also hoping that long term will be will be that resource for that community like you said so the like a mentorship program almost like a new family that right. doesn't know what to expect could they call upon Barry's family now wonderful news mm -hmm. everybody's w well now what did that look like for you what, that mm -hmm. initial phase you know or what did phase mm -hmm. four look like what it, you know what could you what are those takeaways for me you know mm -hmm. so creating that network and that community is is really important to us at the Tommy Fund that we we do that better you know that's a goal of ours for a uh, long term to to keep everyone together and mm -hmm. and be a resource for each other that was the big reason we wanted to be a part of the gala when they invited us we said we'd be happy to yeah because um, receiving that initial news of any any childhood um, ours was leukemia any childhood um, yeah. diagnosis whether it be um, one of the types of leukemia or another type of cancer or another possibly life-threatening disease mm -hmm. it's scary it's scary for a oh, parent absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. so hopefully we can maybe put Barry out front and say hey look it's okay yeah right the road can be rocky and it is okay and you can get better and life will hopefully get better. Oh, absolutely. Um, and you're at a good place to do it, too, with, with Tommy Fund in Yale. They right. really took care of us. Absolutely. Our board president actually is a survivor himself, uh, Joe Bowman. And um, he was, di you know, very different story than Barry. Barry mm -hmm. being two years old, Joe was uh, a senior in high school going into college and okay. when he was diagnosed. And that, that looked very different, you know, for him. He he was more aware of, of things and, and not to say Barry's not having, you know, his mm -hmm. own journey, but, um, you know, also that young adolescent, like what is, what does that child go through and mm -hmm. how can we support them? So now there's this new program. I don't even know if you guys are aware, but at the hospital through one of our doctors is, um, got a grant with Facebook and Meta okay. and they have a VR simulator um, that kind of explains in a young person's eyes mm -hmm. what this journey is going to look like. And, that, really? and that's, you know, such an up and coming kind of concept, but it's a way to appeal to that, that age group, you know, upon diagnosis. So um, we, we, yeah, that, that's, that, that's a really neat new effort that we're working towards. Okay. We've lost Barry. He's, <laughs> We've lost, he's hiding. He's part of the, the crew. Barry's yeah, doing sound checks in the backstage. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. okay. He's in the back. He's Maybe the... you found your calling for your future career, Barry. <laughs> yeah, there you Set go. He's, he's, yeah, he's a, <laughs> exactly. Maybe maybe he'll be a member of the union here in a couple of years. There you go. Oh God, it's keeping him quiet. So I like that. Yeah. Well, there you, well, there you I'm go. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, no, no, no. You no. know, what? I was just thinking, what? Um, and I don't want to speak for you, but I know your dad and brother have been a huge support too. Like what that oh, family absolutely. unit has Yeah, let's meant talk about that. You. Yeah. So my dad and brother, they live in Maryland. Mm -hmm. um, when we got the news that we were coming to Connecticut, Barry got through phase one. We were moving to um, into our house. Um, they uh, did not hesitate at all to come move in with us. Okay. Um, so they, they're full live-in caretakers. Um, it takes a lot to entertain this boy. Um, so he has 
You um, can my, see that, right? My dad, my brother, uh, Zach and I, um, for support. Yeah. Also, other family members who've who've come and pitched in in, in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, you know, trying to get this house, this uh, <laughs> house uh, ready. Um, to, to, you know, live in, so new flooring needed to be put in. Yep. My father-in-law came up um, with uh, Sharon, and they pitched in and, and helped in that way. Um, my mother and stepfather came up to help in um, as well, taking turns with Barry, going to treatment. Treatment can be really rough, yeah. you know, like we talked about, and it can be pretty taxing on not just Barry, but also the caregiver watching mm -hmm. um, a child go through. So having that additional set of hands to monitor Barry, be with Barry as a companion was really helpful and instrumental to give us the, you know, the energy yeah. and the endurance to get through it. Um, so here we are almost at the end of his intensive journey and it's all because of our family, our friends, I mean, everyone that's pitched in, the community, um, organizations like Tommy Fun, Ronald McDonald. I mean, we honestly, we could have done it. You mm -hmm. know? I don't know. But um, it would not have been pretty <laughs> alone. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it would have been um, even more of a rough road than we had to endure, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it really does take a village. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, um, a little bit of our personal struggle is Casey is going for her master's. She works for Northeastern and she's going to school. Sorry, not master's, doctorate. She'll, she'll let me know about that later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's been her EDD. Um, and I was working a full-time job um, doing legal work, which is very time consuming. Oh, yeah. Um, so we were lucky enough, we were blessed enough to have family mm -hmm. with us and we could call them up and they could right. be live in. We, we were lucky enough to be able to purchase a, a, a small home Oop. and have them live in with us. Um, some people don't have that. So right. it's, it's great, again, um, harping on the community aspect. It's great to have people that mm -hmm. you can kind of call, rely on and ask for things. And they have a lot more experience. We've never had a child with cancer before, right? right. So it's the first child we have cancer. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We didn't even know what questions to ask. So those yeah. resources were at our fingertips. And sometimes they came and said, are you asking these questions? Mm. No, we're not, because nope. we've never had a child with cancer. Exactly. So those have all been um, assets to us, because like I said, it does take a village. We were lucky enough to at least have the bodies to help. Mm -hmm. um, but some people don't have that, and I don't think anybody really has the knowledge. No. And Absolutely not. What you said, Zach, just made me think of something too. You know, you've been fortunate to have that support network at home in your personal life, but there are, you know, I've, I was just recently, the Tommy Fund funded a grant for mortgage and bills for a, a single mom who had to stop working just so she could care for her child and four siblings. You know, so a family of six, single mom, and loses her income and, and, mom doing whatever she can to support her family and mm -hmm. and you know we of course were right there to step in and support that family um during that time where the mom needed to be you know focus on the care of her child that was the, the most important thing and that's what we wanted for her um so yeah it, it, everybody has a little bit different story but um certainly that network of support absolutely is, is there absolutely and what else we want to talk about? We've got a little bit more time left. What did, what did we forget? Well, this was Barry's chance. This was his big break. <laughs> and I think you're ruining it now, bud. I know. No, <laughs> no I think the camera loves him. No, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, really, we wanted to harp on because we will be going to the gala, and we're, we're, we're excited for it. We are yeah. hoping to let everybody know when it is, where it is, and hopefully they can still get tickets. Um, because we're going to do anything we can to support because they've been mm -hmm. a life, a lifeline for us. They've Absolutely. been a life raft, thrown it out. We we had grabbed mm -hmm. on when we needed it the most. So hopefully we can um, really do do our part, push so that way that life preserver is out there for somebody else that they can grab onto it in their time if need. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, but just That's you. To reiterate, where, where yeah. when, and what time? Yeah, Tell me. April twenty first. It's a Friday night. It'll okay. be our seventieth anniversary celebration okay from 6 to 11 p.m yeah and it's at anthony's ocean view in new haven and uh timmy maya band will be there i don't okay. know if you know timmy but i don't know timmy he is 
uh, for sure going to bring everybody together and celebrate and dance. Okay. So that'll be really fun. We also have the Yale Whiff and Puffs. I don't know if you know the acapella know. group Whiff no. and Puffs. They're from Yale University, the really? college acapella group. So they'll be there for the cocktail hour singing. Okay. And, um, you know, showing our connection to Yale once again, which will be really exciting. Mm -hmm. And um, we have a live auction. We have things ranging from trips to Aruba cool. to... Excellent. Um, nice. Go on the New York Stock Exchange to see the bell rung, all the way down to purses, restaurants, <laughs> overnights. So a little bit for everybody. Cool. Yeah. We got a little bit more time left before we say goodnight. Website one more time. Yes, Go. TommyFund.org. And um, I'm Rebecca Santoli. You can always reach out to me with questions or how to get involved. On be before we say goodnight, I want to thank you guys for all coming down and hanging out with me for the last half hour. This has been a lot of fun. Absolutely. And hopefully we'll do it again. Maybe. Cool. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> He's going to need I another think, big break. All right. I think Barry's ready. Ready right. to come back. I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll have you guys on again. Thanks a lot for coming on. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you for on behalf of the panel, I'm Pete Mazzetti. Thanks. Good night. We'll see you next time.